What's going on, silencers? Cass here, and today we're taking a look at Disterra. This is a massively multiplayer online PvP PvE first person shooter open world survival craft game uh, with actually kind of an interesting concept behind it. Um, we have to play officially online with other people, so uh, we're going to do our damnedest to figure this out. But without any further ado, I'm going to play the opening cutscene for you, and I will see you in-game. Terrasite. The fourth fire of civilization. The discovery of this revolutionary energy source excited the entire world. With it, humans were able to manipulate the climate and travel easily through space. But as humanity increasingly relied on Terrasite, they became more careless about how it was mined. Scientists warned of the terrible consequences of humanity's greed, but no one listened. And then, the apocalypse. Terra split open and filled the skies with fire and ash. Humanity realized the scientists were right, but it was too late. There was no other option but to migrate into space to escape the annihilation of the human race. A great satellite was constructed in Earth's orbit, a new haven for mankind. Its residents called their new home Orbis. The remnants of humanity slowly adapted to life in space over several generations. They believed that mankind had succeeded in building a new utopia that would last forever. But the peace wouldn't last. Mankind was now faced with a new dilemma. Orbis was running out of fuel, and an alternative to Terracite had yet to be discovered. With humanity's survival in the balance, there was only one choice. Go back down to the surface and mine more terracite. When no one volunteered for the dangerous journey, Orbis decided to draft criminals and outcasts, including you. You'll have to survive in the treacherous and unforgiving world humanity once called home And if you're lucky, you might just survive to tell the tale. Some of the people you meet along the way will happily help you survive, while others will try to take everything you have, including your life. Will you gather Terracite and go back to Orbis? Or will you work to prevent Terrafire and remain on Earth? Regardless of what you choose, you'll have to stay alive first. All right. So now you know the story. Let's go ahead and figure out what we don't really look like. Definitely not that. Eh, fine. We'll do that, I guess. Uh, what about hair? We are bald. And... Machine arm. Okay, so we have a machine arm. What is that? Purple hells? Do they? Yeah. All right. Now, um, yeah, that works. And as far as hair color, we are more like that. Uh, yeah, we'll go through the mission guide. That's fine. Day one on Earth, Terrifier erupts in 141 days. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Hey, it looks like you survived the landing. 
Well, I'm hello, cutie. I'll be helping you during your exile here on Earth. Orbis sent you down here because it needs TerraSight to run its space station. It's a dangerous job, so criminals and outcasts like you are the ones they sent down here to mine it. Regardless, your first goal right now should be learning how to survive down here. Use uh. the moving keys to move around. Hold the sprint key while moving to sprint. Okay, I'm You're hurt doing from that. the impact of landing. Press the key to use the bandage in one of the quick slots at the bottom of your screen. Um, the bandages are those, yeah. Okay, so, whoops, three, there we go, bandage. At the bottom left corner of your screen, there's a flashing green bar. It's flashing. That means you're low on energy right now. Okay. I mean, Press that the number means of the quick slot inject the with battery. A battery pack to recharge your machine arm. This island is dangerous, so stay close to the coast for now. You can check the danger level of your current location on the mini map in the upper left corner of the screen. Okay. Orbis gave you a machine arm and bionic eyes, so you could mine Terracite more easily during your exile. Press Vision Key to activate your vision scan. Use it to easily find items you can interact with. Press vision key again to deactivate it. Uh, oh shit. Oh, got it. I'm like grinding it up. Your vision scan ability consumes energy while it's active. So be sure to turn it off to save energy. You can use a battery pack again to recharge your energy. Now it's time to make sure you don't starve to death for some canned food in an abandoned building nearby. To be safe, get your gun ready by pressing the number of the quick slot with a pistol. You never know what danger you'll come across. Uh, take all. Use the vision scan in an abandoned building to find canned food more easily. There we go. You can press interaction key to pick it up and put it in your inventory. Where'd that... I swear he dropped like an axe or something. I wasn't really listening to you, darling. What is it? Okay, I do like the quick inventory feature. That is kind of nice. Being able to just look at something and take everything out of it. Um. So, shift F4, or shift F. Take all, there we go. Okay, so... Use can of beans. So go here and ah, just press F if to use hungry, it. If you're hungry, you can gather edible plants like mushrooms in the wild. You can also hunt animals and cook their raw meat using a barrel grill or a grill. It looks like you found everything. Press crafting key and select one of the armor pieces with an exclamation mark beside it to craft some new armor. Okay. You'll find all kinds of crafting recipes saved on your machine arm. Let's craft one of those. And some pants and a shirt. How's that sound? And there's a barrel grill. You can equip the armor you just crafted by double-clicking on it from the inventory. Inventory, okay. But so. to gather more materials, you need to explore deeper into the island and there's a good chance you'll get hurt while you're at it. We can only hope. protocol can instantly restore your health, but uses some of your battery. Try crafting a healing protocols. Crafting. Uh, healing protocols. What the fuck is that? Consumable? Um... A healing protocol. What's the difference between a protocol healing protocol and a protocol? What the fuck ever? Craft, I need chips. So... This one. No, still need chips. Okay. So... It's still saying it wants me to go in here. Craft a healing protocol. Okay, so I just need to... C 
continue to look around until I find enough of those things. Got it. I really dislike automatic weapons. There's another chip. Ah, okay. That disappeared. Okay. Sorry, I'm testing buttons as I'm uh, as I'm looking for things. Well, let's try the uh, the lean function then. Come on, Ultron. What's that? Three of them? Let's pick up the old can of beans. That's the most badass looking can I think I've ever seen. Can I? Oh, okay. I wasn't paying that close attention. Now, can I craft the damn healing thingy, my bobber? No, I can't. Uh. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Okay, so that moves me back and forth. Okay. This is mine. Did I did I miss something on this? Oh, gathering. Okay. Um yeah, we'll go to this one next. There's bound to be a Go down. Damn it. Okay. Uh, Bueller? feeling we missed something at the last couple of places I don't have the patience to go back for. Ah, what's this? Do I have enough for the... Nope, one more. There's a boat. Okay. Is that just metal? Yes, it is. Okay. Anybody home? I know that we're in the tutorial area, so there shouldn't be anybody here who... Honestly, there shouldn't be anybody else here. But, uh... Doesn't hurt to be cautious. Let's see. There's the truck. I know I didn't search this one over here. Well, I have to say, the combat, um, for what very little this is worth, the combat actually feels pretty solid. Like, it... It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it was an afterthought in a, in an online game. It feels like this was the intention to begin with. That probably sounds really weird, but that's how it feels. Um, okay, we're good there. So we craft the magic healing protocol now. Okay. 
Okay. Equip the crafted protocol under your character in the inventory menu. Once added, you can use it by pressing its exclusive quick slot key. Uh, Z. You need Got materials it. to craft a new firearm. I think you'll need to fight a combat robot, so make sure to get some ammunition, food, and medical supplies before you leave. Great. Defeat Orbis Assault Robots. Okay, um... Where? That was not the right thing to, uh, to fight. So where the hell am I going? How do I, uh, map? No. This doesn't actually tell me what I need. What is that? Okay. Okay. I have no idea what all these materials are going to be for, but... Whatever. Now... Oh, okay. So if I hold down Alt, it... Allows me to look around without... What the f... What is that? What is that? Nope, I got nothing. You need ammo in your inventory in order to reload your weapon. How much ammo you have is displayed in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can always craft more if you have the materials on hand. You're wonderful. I guess I'm out of bullets. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's some extra ammo. Um, oh my gosh. If I was missing it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was not my intention. I'm so dumb. Wait a second. Oh. Nope, never mind. I mean, I'm still dumb, but... Why the hell am I... Okay, so yeah, we go this way. And we're looking to go up into this thing, maybe? All right, while not incredibly apparent at first, uh, that was actually expertly crafted, that particular UI interaction, where you had to look for the kind of general places that there are bad robots, or, you know, enemies and objectives and all that stuff. Okay, so somewhere up in that building, let's get some big-ass parasol mushrooms. Holy crap. Oh, Terracite. I'm sure this makes me a target for anybody, but whatever. Now... Up here. Robots are 
some of the weaker combat robots down here. Of course. Still, they can pose a threat if they gang up on you. Yes. Danger level two. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Ah. Toolbox. Uh, okay, so we've gotten one of those. Ah, got it. Okay, so now that I'm close enough to them, they're um, starting to show on the minimap. Oh shit. Yes. Wonder what the hell it's going to give me. Or what kind of weapon I'll be able to craft. Hopefully something a little more marksman rifle-ish. Can I climb? Nope. Some of the alternative movement options are uh, displeasing thus far. However, it might just be that I don't have the necessary character skills to pull off that kind of. You'll probably die sooner or later. You'll need a respawn point when that happens. You'll need to install a sleeping bag or a bed to respawn if or when you die. Craft a sleeping bag, add it to a quick slot, then place it on the ground. You can also store some items in it once you have installed. You should pick an obscure spot so other exiles don't destroy your sleeping bag. I don't even fucking know what an obscure spot would be. But, uh, I'll take your word for it, honey. Okay. How obscure is obscure? Hmm. I have a feeling that whatever decision I make here is about to bite me in the ass. Let's get some more of this. Obscure is obscure. Well, this is as obscure as it's going to get. Press map key and open the map to see the location of your sleeping bag or bed. When you select cool. my bed from the respawn screen, you'll be respawned at the location of that sleeping bag or bed. However, when you respawn, you'll lose the items you were carrying except for the ones in the secure slots of your inventory. The rest will be dropped at the spot of your death. You have to go back there and retrieve them before someone else takes them. Let's craft a sturdier piece of armor. Okay. Craft one of the armor pieces marked with an exclamation mark. Ah, I'm out of fiber. Need more fiber, so going to look for more fiber, I think. Sure, there's going to be enemies in here or something, but get some more of this. Parasite. More powerful weapon and equipment increase your chance of survival. 
Now you're going to venture out into more dangerous areas. The battle will be tougher, so make sure to get ammo, food, and medical supplies. Oh, that was a double deposit. Cool. I'm gonna eat some... Oh, really? That's all beans give you? And the mushrooms ain't much better. Okay, and we'll put a new battery in our arm. I think that's really cool. Um... Okay. Defeat the... Hyena Scout. Um, Hyena Scout. These are most... Most likely to be located... There. Okay, so what gun... Or whatnot can I craft? Oh, 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 oh. An energy marksman's rifle. Fine metal, battery pack, and fine cylinder. And this we get from enemies, or we produce it in the forge. Huh. Well, let's go this way and see if we can't get lucky or how bad it is when we actually die. Just giving me stone. Okay. Like those. Get some more of this terracite, because it's worth it. Oh, yeah. I should probably put on the nice boots, and then... Can I... Oh, okay. That's a crying shame. I'll hold on to them for right now. Only because yeah, my inventory is not full. I can ditch them when I run into an issue. Okay. So this looks like some kind of military facility. Let's see about knocking on the what the hell is that? Yeah, give me the bear. The fuck is wrong with the bear? It's got like parasite all over it. Interesting. Go up the stairs and see if there's anyone home to kill. Oh shit. Is he? Oh. Down I go. Shit. Well, let's see. I'm sorry, I got killed by a bandage. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's respawn here. <laughs> Are you awake? You probably lost everything in your inventory, except oh, whatever no. you have in your secure slots. Recover the items left where you died before somebody else finds them first. 
Yes, yes, now. Why do I hear radiation? Ah, uh, did I lose my armor too? Oh no, I didn't. So I still have my armor. What the hell is that sound? Okay. Give me that. Was I? So what are these beams? I don't understand. I'm sure there's tons of documentation that I could read on this, but uh, no, I'm good. There we go. Let's Make sure that we've reloaded, all right. And down we go again. <laughs> well, you know what I don't get is there's not oh, and I can't respawn for eight minutes. Well, this is a perfect place to call this episode. Uh mostly because this is actually quite boring. I would be interested in seeing this uh game in the single player fashion because there is a single player version. However, this has been a first and potentially last look at Distera. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. Follow me on Twitter. Join me over at Discord. Also, thank you very much to my patrons whose continued support allows me to keep doing this. And if you would like to support me in a more direct fashion, join me over at patreon.com forward slash control alt silent. But... I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.